Welcome back, everybody, to another edition of Civilization VI. Coming at you is Simon Valor of Grand Columbia. And of course, it is all part of the New Frontier Pass. This is our first look, fresh look, new look at everything new about the game with the updates that came with the New Frontier Pass. And we're going to take a look at Simon Valor right now and just how good he is. First look, when you look at the stuff and you read it down, you're like, holy cow, this guy looks amazing. My impression is, before we play him, possible S tier. Possible S tier. We're going to see. So let's take a quick look. Uh, I apologize again for the butchering of the words. I don't speak any language other than English, and uh, some of this is not English. Campagna Admirable. Earn a Commandant General when the game enters a new era. That's part of the Commandant General down here, which is... Uh, can be pretty interesting to take a look at as the game goes along. Uh, the Ejercito Patriotto, plus one move at 12 units and promoting a unit does not end that unit's turn. This right here, I think, is without a doubt S-tier ability and is absolutely, without a doubt in my mind, top five, maybe top three abilities of any civilization in, in the entire game. Without ever even playing them. There is there is actual civilizations that if you if if they only had this and nothing else they would be better than they currently are. Um, this this would make some civilizations better if they had this instead of everything else they've currently got. That's how good this is, I think. Uh, the Commandant General is a special type of great person only available to Simon Valor himself. Each has unique abilities, including a passive effect and a retire effect. So. When you get it, when you start a new era, you're going to get one of these guys, and it's going to be a lot of fun. We're uh, we're going to take a look. I don't know all the different things, all the unique things that are going to be capable of, but I do know that if they have military strength as their bonus, they can stack with a regular general, and you can have a nice little bonus there. So, should be a lot of fun to see how those guys work as we move through the game. But I think they're going to be fun. Uh, the Lanero, I think this is a really strong. Unique unit, guys. It's kind of it comes just soon enough in uh, in the industrial era to become a, a significant part of a military game. Uh, it's an industrial era unit, unique to uh, this um, unique unit to uh, Grand Columbia, and it replaces the cavalry. Low maintenance cost, which is always nice, and a plus four combat strength for every adjacent Lanero. I don't even know if I'm Yanero. Maybe it's Ya. I think double L is Ya, right? In Spanish, so Yanero. It's I think it's Yanero. I'll start saying Yanero until somebody corrects me. Uh, so the Yanero is going to be a plus four. So that stacks, much like the very used to before they got nerfed. So that's uh, that's pretty fantastic. Fully heals when in range of a Commandant General and activates its retire ability. So that's another option that would be really cool uh, is there as well. And also, I didn't mention, I just want to come back here. Promoting a unit that does not end a unit's turn. That, I mean, the plus movement for like builders and... Um, and uh, settlers and stuff like that alone is fantastic. Faster military units is always the huge. Um, especially, and the other thing too is like, when you have a builder, instead of two, it's base three. You put on logistics uh, mid game, and all of a sudden they have four movement. And that's the, so you're basically like your builders, whether you've got monumentality or not, you, you've you got, you know, builders running around with and fantastic movement. So this is really great. But yeah, the promoting a unit, it's always frustrating when you're in a battle. And all of a sudden, you know, especially if you're defending very early on on Deity and you've got something coming at you and you've got a bunch of archers that are shooting and then three of them get promotions all in the same turn. And you're like, oh God, I can't take promotions all this turn because they're going to get all free hits. So then you're like, okay, well, maybe I'll hit with this one and promote this one and then hit with this one the next turn and take turns promoting or whatever. So you're skipping promotions and skipping experience. Instead, it's like, hey, I'll just promote and kick your butt. So pretty fantastic, I think. As well, that's just just wanted to the point I wanted to make that I forgot. Anyway, uh, all really good things so far. And then we hit the hacienda, unlocks the builder ability to construct a hacienda unique to Gran Colombia, plus two gold and plus one production and plus one a full plus one housing. That's pretty awesome stuff to have a full housing as well as a couple gold and production. Any tile improvement, especially a unique tile improvement to uh, your civilization that gives you production. Is fantastic. A full housing is also great. If you can find some plantations stuck around in, in the area, 
you can always go uh, with some, uh, get some extra food there as well, which is nice. Um, but in addition to that, plantations, if you do have them, and haciendas receive an additional production for every two adjacent haciendas. And then at rapid develop or rapid development, rapid deployment, which is fairly far to, like deep into the game, you get another production. I get a full production for each one instead of each two. So that's pretty cool. Um, you can jack up your plantations with production if you can stack them uh, these haciendas around them. And then if you just stack the haciendas in a group, you're going to start to stack on extra production as well. So if you get even a triangle of these guys, now all of a sudden all three of those got plus two production to go with plus two gold and the full housing. That's a pretty nice improvement, especially if you got a bunch of flat land coming around. Um, yeah, that's pretty sweet. That's like oh, that's like playing that's like throwing a mid game mine on flat land right there. So pretty good stuff. And yeah, I think that's it. Uh, it can be built, like I said, on plains, plains, hills, grasslands, and grasslands, hills. So that's most of the map they can be placed on. So that's pretty good. So this is them. And we've got ourselves a map. Uh, I'll read through that later, Major Bank Geek. I, I'm sure I'm screwing it up. Hacienda, Campania, uh, uh, I'm trying to. A Hersi. A Hersito? A Hersito? A Hersito? Hmm. I, there's no way I'm saying that right. There's no way I'll get it right. I could try a thousand times, I'll never get it right. <laughs> Commandante, yeah. Yeah. I I I might I'm I yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> so we have a discussion to have here, guys. Um one of the really nice things, even straight out of the gate before you even do anything, is the um your your units have an additional range right so they can actually go three instead of two right out of the gate and so it gives you the option of doing some weird things now in this case i probably don't even do my settler because i'm probably going to the cattle but i wanted to have a quick discussion for those of you who might be new to the game or like to hear discussions about where to settle and stuff like that there is one other viable option for where to settle that would be actually not too shabby and that would be to turn to settle the dies. Now, nobody else in the game could ever turn to settle that die because they would cross over and then they'd have to go to here and then they have to settle on the third turn. But these guys could cross over turn one and then because this is flat onto a, onto trees, they could actually walk over and settle on that second turn. So that would be a possibility. couple reasons why I wouldn't want to do that. Reason number one is you would be underneath a volcano, which is not great. Even though we got or our our disaster levels are at two, which is fine, um, you you would not necessarily want to be getting crushed by the volcanoes no matter what. So, um, it it would be nice to settle the dies. Dies is a nice one to settle because you get the faith right in this right in the city center without having to work any other tile, and so you're immediately working towards your. Um, Um, oh my god, how did I not, how's that name out of my head right now? Uh, the thing that you get, Pantheon, oh my god, how is, how did Pantheon just escape my head right now? How is that even possible? One of those days, folks. Uh, so you're immediately working towards your Pantheon, whereas if you settle here, you're, you're gonna want to work two twos out of the gate, which means you're, you know, you'll have to wait a little bit before you start working the faith. Um, so that kind of stinks a little bit, but those are your options. Now, the good thing about the cattle as well is you're going to get another, uh, an additional um, food in the capital as well, which is, is not a bad thing either. Now, with this guy, I could step up on here, but there's a good chance it's not even going to get me much more vision to learn. Whereas I can learn a little bit down here. Now, it looks like this is going to be all coast, so you're not going to learn much. But I could potentially lose, learn a little bit about this coastline and figure some stuff out. And then we could start moving around uh, that way. So, again, because we got the extra movement, so we have a pot spot here, and then, um, okay. Now, here's a, here's something to keep in mind, right? So, the next thing I probably want to do is I'm going to want to get to here and then cross over, okay? But, so, theoretically, you're thinking, okay, well, there's nothing really here, so you might as well just go this way, but on your next turn, you're only getting this far anyway, so you might as well go to here, and then your next turn... You learn what's here, and then the very next turn, you get up there, right? 
So you come here, you can actually, there you go. You learned that there's amber right there. Uh, and then again, like I said, you're still going to get to here on the next turn before you cross over. So it doesn't matter where you are. If you wanted to get to here and cross over, it was always going to take you an additional turn on top of that. Um, so there you go. Uh, hello, Reggae. How you doing? Signing in for a bit of speed running to circumnavigation. Speed running to circumnavigation. What? So this is the choice for sure. This is the choice for sure. Yeah. Uh, I would not. Be, I'm not worried about a Zimbabwe cap. Plus, I could do Zimbabwe either way, right? And you can do Zimbabwe even if it's. You can actually build Zimbabwe if the cattle's underneath your city. So not a big problem. I uh, will be fine, citizens. All mountains. Yeah, I don't want the smoke. So we should be fine there because reasons. Now, right out of the gate, I think we're going to go grab a scout. Like that. And I think we're probably on that. I was just going to say that scout should not take that long. Uh, let's grab here. And shave two turns off that. There we go. All right. So that's it. We got a scout. We got a settler. And uh, like I said, we're probably, probably pushing towards a military game. Um, we're going to have to get irrigation for that. Do, 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 do. There's not, this isn't the greatest land, really. Like, if we're being honest, it's not good land. But I didn't want to be re-rolling. I just wanted to play with whatever we got. We don't need a ton of cities. Get some good production and we'll be fine. Research. Uh, I'm going to go Animal Husbandry. I'm hoping to learn of a bunch of horses down in here on all this empty land. And also, another key thing to keep in mind, too, is all these hills that don't have trees on them, there's a good chance that there's going to be iron on one or two of those. Um, so keep that in mind as a possibility as we move forward. Uh, we might get lucky and get some iron in those as well. <clears throat> so there you go. Uh, next turn. Let's just do this thing. Uh, boom and boom. We'll wait for our next turn and next turn. Um, now we cross over. Time to find out if a city over in here is going to be really good or not. Answer not. Um, one, two, three. So a city here gets the amber, but it's going to be a crap city. Um, so you probably want to come here with the city. Lots of production. We could get a fair amount of food here. So that's a possibility. And uh, Hazard Headline, it's good to see you. I'm doing well. Thank you. Good to see you. Good to see you very much. Next turn. Okay, so there's a uh, there's some sugar and a goodie hut. We only found one of those in our last game, so hopefully we'll get some more love. My thought is maybe a settle here is pretty good, but sugar's close, so we get lots of food here and lots of production here is likely. The incense is just within reach. Uh, the amber is probably going to live there forever without being touched, I think. Set of my second city, two tiles from the new... Oh, really? The new wonder? Nice. Um, yeah. Working on a scout. Cross over here. Ooh -wee! Free build there. Let's go, baby! Let's go. Free builder and a first meet on Auckland. So Auckland immediately is an interesting, interesting thing because it makes your coastal cities a little better. I, it'd be Auckland's a little bit more interesting if you're playing the long game. If you're playing like a, a longer, planning a longer game. But with this particular run, you know, I'm not planning on building eight or 12, ten or twelve cities and going to space. So 
you know, getting cities along the coast and stuff is not necessarily all that big a deal. Now, uh, we there's nothing we could do with the builder. We could maybe do a little build exploring, though. And, ooh, some nice tiles out here. And that plantation can be very advantageous for us. Indeed. So we'll do a little bit of build exploring up in there and cross our fingers. Free builder indeed, buddy. Next turn. Let's go. I think at this point... You probably still want to go with a couple of two twos because what you're going to want... Oh, this is going to open up. I'm going to be able to do that. Um, what you're going to want to do is get your settler out fast. -er. So as much as you like the faith, the Pantheon Force isn't going to be that important in this game. So I don't need to race to first selection. I think I run a couple of two two tiles and... Uh, and go from there. Some more sugar there in Auckland. And again, look at this. The bonus movement you get. Because, so instead of having to go here and wait. Boom. Now, mountain there. So we have a, a plus three campus here. And then, of course, there's some more options up here. As well. So that's very interesting. Didn't end up giving us any advantage, but maybe we can jump onto here and we'll see something from this hill. I would like to kind of circle back around and get this cattle going before too long. Um, the scout, I think I'm going to head to this coast and come this way. I'm going to come to the coast and come up through here. And let this guy... Okay, so there's another river there. That's nice. And some really nice sugar. Some 2-2 two -two tiles. So there's definitely a settle somewhere in this vicinity for us, I would say. Um, not. I would have liked to have seen more bananas in all this uh, jungle, but... Say la vie. Let me ask leave, then. Matterhorn. A tribute of respect and admiration to the once desired Matterhorn. Interesting. And a first meet on Hunza. That's another one of the new city-states, I believe. Uh, and the Matterhorn, of course. So there's another thing. It's said in the update that that's two games in a row where a city-state settled on or was um, on a, um, a wonder. And it was supposed to happen a lot less, so I don't know. But yeah, a Matterhorn ignores hills for the rest of the game. Yeah, so we're going to want to have our guys walk past that and ignore hills. For sure. For sure. And I think it just automatic... When I was unclicking those, it made my guy go here instead of up. Well, there's honey. It's a luxury resource. So this, that allows us to go in through here. We've got a little bit of missing information here. But what I'll probably end up doing is my scout's probably going to circle around here. I'll have him come down here and then go up by Matterhorn. And then let the scout continue. In here, we're going to run Settler in 11 turns. Again, running the 2-2 tile. Once we get another tile going, we should be able to trim that down to maybe 9 turns. A future-owned city. Well, I'm going Domination Victory, so there's not much point in... Um, I'm not really sure there's a whole lot of... Any, the culture would be nice in a regular game, but... I don't know if there's much point in wasting time and stuff on taking down a city-state in a domination game. Unless that's really something you wanted. But it's not necessarily that big a deal. Okay, so now... Yeah, I see this is what happens when you right-click on this stuff and then it thinks you want to go over there with the guy because it senses it underneath. It's really annoying. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna come back with our warrior. I didn't want to venture too far away from the capital anyway. I was gonna I was just gonna come to Matterhorn and then come back, but now uh, I think I'm just gonna head there right away, just in case. Because if he happens to head, if the scout finds me right away, we could be in trouble. 
yeah having just having them spawn there uh just being able to come over here because like depending on where the map is i might just have my units be walking that way anyway right um let me step on this hill okay there's another goodie hut i want the builder back here so i think i'm gonna probably i'll head up I don't know here. I want, maybe go around the mountain and get to that. I want to come back here. There's more honey there. We could potentially. That's a um, the luxury there. I'm wondering if maybe uh, you could settle the honey. It's not on the floodplains. You'd have a two two tile here. Some food. That being your. Excuse me, that'd be in your second ring. You could put your campus here, potentially. Or potentially out here. You know, with this volcano here, I'm wondering if I don't... Although it is dormant, it might never go off on level two. Decisions, decisions. Working on a settler. And of course, you just got in my way. You know what? I'm going to just take a chance. <laughs> I was just like, you know what? Let's just go find out what's going on here, and then I don't need to worry about my set, uh, my my scout coming down here and then up. I can just go across the top of Auckland and go there. And of course, we find this, which is nice. It might have been a while before I saw that, so now I get it right away. And hopefully, the scout's going this way <laughs> from that good or from that bar putt. Do, 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 do. So it's nice that it gives you this information, right? So because we have that ex the, the extra movement, it's nice that it gives us this information that we can actually get past this. Because if this was a hill with with forest or whatever on it, we wouldn't be able to go there, right? Because this would be two movement and then that would be three. So that would be screwed. So now we know that we can go this way and we're going to have an option. That's a lot of jungle and not much bananas. <sighs> okay, so that sucks. Uh, so Nayamadal's here. We did not get a first meet, so we did not get the culture boost, unfortunately. Um, yeah, that's frustrating, unfortunately. What do they want us to do? Construct a campus. We can get that done. Train a gallery. Uh, galley. All right, well... I'm going to have him come in through here, and then he can go across the top. That's annoying that we didn't get the first view or the first uh, first meet. There's a really nice tile here, but I don't know where you settle that city because there's no fresh water in the area, and it's this coast. And we're only going to want to settle maybe like three other cities, four at the most. <laughs> yeah, another builder. Let's go, baby. Back to back builders. If there are no dogs in heaven, then when I die, I want to go where they went. Forty gold, take it. Come back here. We'll cross over. Then we can come to here and cross over, and then we'll come in this way. Builder, come into there, and then we'll scooch down in through here. Do 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 do. It's funny. In my last game, it was like halfway through the game before I met my third city state, and now on turn ten, we've met three. RNGs is uh, let's go to here and see what's going on okay and here all right so we'll probably cross over here and then come around there I don't I want my scout to just give me my good a good idea of what my land is close by and then we'll head down in here and get that boost and then we'll go search the world now research uh, let's see we're going to want to get to this to improve our resource before too long. It's always nice to be able to go find where iron is early. Mm -hmm. And also, this allows us to... Wait, where? Oh, no, sorry. Here is to uh, remove marsh. Where is it? Wait a minute. Oh, this is to remove uh, stone. Okay, there it is. And then Broad's working as Rainforest. Hmm. Barb kills. 
We're probably just it probably doesn't matter because we're probably doing both of those before we do anything else anyway. But let's go next turn. I think. Oh, you you had to do that, didn't you? You had to do that. All right, well, let's stay next to the river so we can get across next turn. Uh, and then the builder is on its way back to a build that there. <clears throat> yeah, and lots of houses, uh, lots of horses. Yeah, I, lo I saw that and I was going to mention it. Thank you for reminding me, but I forgot to mention it. Um, really nice. The unfortunate part is that this, if this guy spawns, he's going to spawn horsey units. There's actually horses there as well. So that's three horses in the area. So a city here is going to gobble up some really nice tiles with those horses. Uh, we'd lose that one, but two horses is fine. Unless I settled here. If I settled here, it would bring the amber into play. It would be kind of a crap city. Although it would be a better city now that the horses are there. It would bring this into play sooner. So it would be a bad city because you have this as well. So it's not... It, this might be a spot. And then you settle up on here somewhere to grab all this. And then something up in here. That's four cities. I don't know if I'll do more than four. Maybe five at the most. I don't know. Because we'll be getting into war. Although our, our special unit... Yeah. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, I'm going to cross over here so I can see this. And then I'll go up here. I could have gone up to here and then cross. But then I wouldn't have seen in here anymore. So see if there's anything there. Yeah, some nice options. Which is nice, right? You can have the discussion. Oh. There's a pushover. Careful. <laughs> sure. I hear you, Brad. I hear you. It is an honor to meet you. We would love to sell your hospitality. Where you live? Ooh, there you are. There you are right there, eh? You got that first meet on the uh, All right, we're coming up through here. Then we'll cross. Then we'll cross. Cross. Rivers. Everywhere. Like that. Uh, then I think what we'll do is I'm going to actually step on this hill and then cross to here. Go like that. I'll go to here. Yeah, where is the settles in here, eh? If we if I settle there, it takes the horses a long ways away. These horses are a long ways away, but I like that settle. I like that settle. It's not bad. So it's that because if I settle here, I can't settle there, right? So then it's like here or there. It's one of these two. I'm not really sure. I care to be on the coast. A lot of growth and not a lot of production. So I think you gotta come up here for the production, I think. So it's probably like that. Uh, there. Perfect range for a warmonger. Uh, far enough. Uh, he won't bother you early on. But yeah, exactly. He's like he's he's there's a city state between us. He's plenty of distance. He's he won't be a problem. He he's not gonna bother us. But when it's time, we won't be long to get there. Yeah, I agree with that analysis. Oh, it could be spawning ships. I thought to spawn ships, the scout might be up here. I thought to spawn ships, it had to have at least uh, three or four water around it. I didn't think it would spawn ships across here. I don't know. I'm not sure about that. But the scout could have easily gone here. It's been like four or five turns since that spawned, so that uh there's the horseback riding boost fantastic how long on the settler five more turns um you know i'm thinking my plan was originally to come across here i might just open up a pathway to him just so that it, the, the the trade route path is there potentially yeah, just so I can see a little bit better, and then I'll and then I'll wrap through here, and then I'll come across the top of that river or whatever in here. Okay, uh, five turns. We're at pop three. If I go to here, 
Does it make it four turns? It does. Perfect. So running the uh, six production is going to get me a settler that one turn faster, which is nice. Beautiful. As his best, man is. What was that? Oh, another bar pod here. Okay. Well, we're going to be busy. So there is the pathway in there. Come to here. And then we'll be ready next turn to jump on that hill. Uh, this guy here. There's not a whole lot more build support. Maybe I. Well, no, I don't want to. This with this guy spawning, I don't want to be there. I'm probably just going to go into the city and hang for a bit. Party with the locals. Uh, how long? I was just going to say, I should be pretty close to getting my plus five combat strength. And it's right there. Now, here's the interesting choice. You could go with the production. I don't think the production is going to help me right now because I just barely went above enough to get me my settler. It's not going to take a turn off right now. And by going with the faith, it's going to get me there that much quicker. Like I go faith and then I start working the faith. It's going to like help snowball that much quicker. And then I can get off the God King that much quicker as well. <laughs> Hard to know at turn 14, Kinsho. I don't think they're going to be brokenly OP. They might need a little bit of adjustments. But my, my thought is they're just really strong. Uh... I like the I like the production though I do. Because we have the faith tile and I don't no, let's go faith because there's a couple of really nice uh warmonger type pantheons we could target if we get there quick. So let's do that. Especially since we're ignoring our faith on the dies early on. So now this guy should be kind of a stalemate there, yeah, cuz he's getting the plus 5. Yeah, there we go. Nice little roll. Nice roll there, yeah. That's good stuff right there. Uh, and then, improve through tiles is going to be tough. Because we don't have a lot of tiles to improve. Discover a second continent. We're going to want to get into military tradition as well. But yeah, the culture is deadly bad. Let's just start here. We'll, we may switch it up. Halfway, I hesitate uh, on using on uh, using broken. Yeah, there's there's certain things that needed to be adjusted. I just not sure. Like, I agree. Like I'm just not sure if there's anything that you could ever say is like will be broken about them. I I think that there's a chance that there might be one or two things where you might be like oh, maybe that needs a little bit of a tweak. But it, we're going to have to play him to really know for sure, right? Now, here's the thought. I can mine this. I need to get the three improved tiles. So when three turns, I can mine that. Unfortunately, um, I would be able to chop trees as well. So I could potentially chop something out as well. Just to... Oh, that wouldn't be the improved tile, though. Jesus. Maybe... Maybe I buy this tile and mine that as well. And then I can mine it up. Yeah, there's lots of new horses down here. Yeah, so potentially settle here. Potentially settle there. I think I buy this tile, and then I'll have three tiles to improve. I mine this, and I mine that in three turns. Right? Uh, minor victory. Crushed him. Uh, so this guy's just going to be skipping his turn. And Settler in two. Question is, where do we go with the Settler? Do we go and start getting the horses, I guess? The only thing is that I kind of... With him there, there could be somebody here. I just worry about losing this city. Because if I get stuck with all my cities back here, it's going to suck. I feel like this is city number two up here. Um, 
And I think it's I think the settle is right on top of the old honey here. I think the settle is right on top of the honey. And a ton of farms here and production back in here. Not really a lot of production there, but potentially a three, level three a three campus there. Not bad. Hey, Hindu. Was another hundred dollars submitted? No. This is uh, regular, um, regular old level two disasters. No apocalypse mode. Now, I did say because I I'm almost done. I've only have maybe 15, 20 turns left in that game. I'm like turn two o three, I think, and I'm gonna be finishing that game off off stream and posting it on YouTube. I'm pretty sure I'm probably going to avoid the apocalypse. I don't think I think I'm going to be on my way to uh, Alpha Centauri by the time the apocalypse hits, or close to it. So I feel like I, it kind of cheats out of the whole thing. So what I might do, in fact, I'm pretty sure I will, because it kind of otherwise people don't get to see the whole thing, is I might do a later game start next week and run it on apocalypse just so that. I don't get done before the apocalypse hits kind of thing and we can actually see shit blow up <laughs> so that's a possibility as well wow we actually lost that one we were supposed to win it and we actually lost it by seven holy cow that was some fabulously horrible rng right there it's hard to imagine rng getting worse than that i want to go here because i want to clear this out i don't want any missing spaces Now, here it's time to... Wait, what? All right, so this is broken here. That's fun. Oh. I wouldn't just let, okay there you go it wouldn't just let me unclick it I didn't even think about the cancel attack thing you thought I had a promo available what promo uh, over here. so this is a chance to uh, advertise the other part of the really good ability is instead of promoting and having to wait to the next turn to smack this guy, we promote and then we smack him anyway. Right in the mouth. How? Right in the kisser. And then we're going to want to head up there as well. Namadal might take care of that, but we want to do it. If you mean, if you thought we had a promo available, meaning you could pay $100 to have a. Apocalypse. So that's that. That promotion is still available. Any hundred dollar from any one hundred dollar donation to the stream is apocalypse mode game. So if you want to line up, then that'll be another apocalypse mode. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna come up to here. I think get that city going, and then we'll back settle. Now the big question is, what do you do next? Do you jump into the monument? I do believe you do. Because we are dying for culture. Whew. I'll tell you right now. We might want to put another city right here. So one, two, three, four, five. That's tons of cities really for a military game. Uh, well, yeah, city right here. Tons of nice stuff, including a plantation. Very, very interesting. Alright, so here's a scout. That's annoying. But I think we should be fine. And there's another example, again, folks, where we're going to settle the city so much faster now. Because it's and before well not so much it'd be one turn faster because before it would have been up on this hill then over to here and then settle now we're gonna settle next turn 
just one turn faster and we get that. It's just going to be that much. It's just that how it all works. Oh, yeah. Like, this is a city right here. Uh, one, two, three. We settle the stone. Yeah, you settle the stone. I think. Unfortunately, you had to settle the stone, I think. There is a goodie hut waiting for east of Namado. Yeah, no, I, I saw that way. I saw that long a while ago when my builder came around here, but I didn't want to send my builder out that far. Um, I just had my scout uh, on the way. It was a little bit of a risk there, but uh, we mind that. There we go. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to head back to the city with my warrior and heal up. And then we'll head towards this. And maybe we go get that as well. Get that era score, baby. And I think we go pottery. And then we're going to want to be able to get a plantation. plantation. Real quick, like. Scouts will take civilians with regularity now instead of ignoring them. Oh, really? They'll actually pursue it? Interesting. Uh, does the scout have zone of control? He does. So I won't be able to settle when I get there. Because once you lose zone of control, you can't settle, even if you have movement left. Shit. Why couldn't you have stepped over there one? What what's the uh what's the wager that Namadal this Namadal guy steps on that next turn? Well That's annoying. Cause if I step here, he can still get to me. truth is you can actually if I go here he can still get to me as well technically but if he does that he's a little bit more trapped and I have a bit of better chance of getting him back I guess I do that that's a little pisser right there turn 19 great bath so all escort um I'll escort like this. I'm gonna come up here and mine that. Get the craftsmanship boost. Finito. And then I'll uh, hook these fellers up and we'll go there together. Unfortunately. Pop three in next turn. And the monument in three. Actually, the monument might speed up. Oh, there you go. He didn't step on it. An envoy. Hmm. I think you give that... To... Oh, wait. No, wouldn't... Yeah. I think you give that to Namadal for the culture. Yeah. That's like finding two culture a turn in the in a um in a goodie hut. Come out here to see some more information and then come back here and then we'll step this way. That's a big difference maker in our uh in our culture. See that? It was nine. The craftsmanship was going to be nine more turns. So next turn it was going to be eight. 
and instead it's three. We're gonna have craftsmanship in three turns instead of eight more turns. That's huge, bro. Uh, we go here, and then we'll settle next turn. So we lost what two turns there? Uh, more than a little bit annoying, but we'll, what are you gonna do, right? Um, I'm gonna come up this way and come through here and across the top of that. And monument, we did not shave a turn by going to pop three there. So I'm going to allow the faith to accumulate on this guy. Better that. It's interesting that this isn't... Is this floodplains? This isn't floodplains, right? This is grasslands, yeah. So, it's interesting that they gave me the boost even though I'm not actually on the floodplains. I thought you had to settle right on the floodplains. Because otherwise... Okay, so we're going to buy the sugar. And this city will grow super fast, super quick. Pop two in two turns. And then we'll be able to get into working more tiles faster. Spe specifically because you don't have a lot of really good tiles. This three two tile as well is probably worth a purchase. To be honest with you. Well, it's still 50 bucks. Because we don't, other than that, because we don't have a lot. Like, we have this 2-2 two, two tile, and then this 3-2 tile along with this guy, and that's it for really good tiles until the third ring. We could grab this one from these guys, because these guys don't need that either. So you know what? Yeah. I think you yeah, I think you grab this tile from these guys, because these guys don't need it for quite a while. And now you've got three good tiles, so we're going to be busy for a while with that. And then this will be the first tile that we get from expansion anyway, so I think you save your money. Because it's only one extra food over this tile for a few turns until you actually got available anyway. So it's not it's not worth 50 gold to get one extra food for 10 or 15 or 20 turns, right? Uh, now, you go Monument, of course, in every city. Right now, you're like, 58 turns? But it's because you're not using any production. In two turns, we'll be working this, and we'll be in much better shape. And then, like, four or five turns after that, We'll be working another 2 2 tile because we'll be pot three. Boom and a boom and boom. And I think I don't want to leave these two tiles un, un, uh, unsearched. So I'll probably go next turn, it'll tell me if I can get to here or not. If I can't, then we'll know that it's like a hill or, a, or whatever, and we'll have to step here. If there's nothing here, then we can go to here and we'll probably be able to see those two tiles anyway. And then we can continue that way. You know what I just realized? <laughs> Shoot! I didn't set an alarm and it's way over 40 minutes. Episode one's 48 and a half minutes. I gotta go. You guys have been so patient getting all the way to the end of this video. Thank you very much for your support. You're amazing. Chat, you don't go anywhere. Twitch is sticking around for quite a while, but you guys have got to go until episode two. So I hope you guys are enjoying these guys. Leave some comments down below if you are, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.